Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 3 and the On Top of the World mission set in Dubai. And today we will be mopping up the last remaining discoveries and feats, starting with Nightcrawler for photographing the Crown Prince in his sleep. And moving on to Cashing Out for knocking out said Crown Prince with a gold bar. And then finally we will exit the level with the suiting attire discovery or feat for exiting the building wearing the skydiving outfit. So for this challenge or these challenges the only thing we are going to be needing with us today will be a silenced pistol and we don't really even need that. So, right from the start, off the bat, we are going to have to get a few things prepared and ready. And the first of which will be a change of outfit for us. We need a guard's outfit. Uh, eventually we're going to need the elite guard outfit, but we'll start with the guard outfit. So we're going to make our way up to the black and gold bar area. And behind that, up the stairs, we will find a security office. And behind the security office we will find a staff only area where there is a lone guard patrolling. So we are just going to wait outside the staff only area just by the security office. And we're waiting for our target there Marcus to make his way through along with his bodyguard. Uh, hopefully. The patrolling guard inside will move away to his right, which he has just done. We can then go into the staff only area, pull out our silence pistol, drop it on the floor by the boxes. And when the patrolling guard returns, he will see that gun. He will move in to collect that gun and he will then render, be rendered unconscious. So here he comes now. And once he goes in for the gun, we can then get behind him, quietly knock him out. We're going to collect up his gun, our gun and his body. And we're going to drag his body down the corridor into the awaiting closet. So like I said, there are a number of things we need to do for this. We need to hack the server in the server room, uh, collect a gold bar and remove a number of crucial guards so with our guard outfit now acquired we're gonna go and get ourselves our next few items which will be up on the uh, tech area above the art exhibition the first item being the crowbar when once we have the crowbar we can then vault over the scaffolding behind us and we need to acquire ourselves the elite guard outfit so vault the balcony if the guard's over here by this machine, knock him out with our crowbar, collect our crowbar, grab his body, we're going to hide him in the storage room provided, which has its own cupboard. There we go. We're going to take his outfit. So next item on our list will be a server key card which is currently being held by a maintenance worker down the corridor. So we're going to go through the server room because it's quicker and we're going to approach the uh, maintenance guy who is just down the end of the corridor. We're going to throw our crowbar further down said corridor to get his attention and when he goes to investigate we can sneak up behind him, render him unconscious and hide his body in the provided closet. And once he's safely tucked up, we're going to go and retrieve firstly our crowbar and the key card that he drops. So that's another item now taken care of. So we're now going to make our way back to the server. And we are going to hack the server using our key card here. And once we've swiped the key card, we need to check the monitors for one that isn't working properly the one that's in yellow and not green and once we've done that we can access the terminal we're going to disable the cameras while we're here and then we're going to uh, select option 4 which will then 
make a cash machine down in the lobby spit out about 20 gold bricks. Uh, once we have that taken care of, we're now going to go and collect our last item, which will be the evacuation key card, just in the security office down the corridor. And the code for this is 6927. So once we have that key card in our possession, we are pretty much all done for collections. Like I said, we do still need to knock a couple of people out, so we're going to go and take care of one of them first of all. So exit the security office straight down the corridor to the penthouse entrance. We're going to bust our way into the penthouse entrance and all the way up the stairs and right up to the very penthouse at the top, which will be the Sheik's room, basically, is where we're heading for. And we need to take care of the guard who patrols out on the atrium. Uh, he's the one over there, the enforcer. Now, uh, first of all, I'm thinking to myself, we need to get rid of this enforcer guard as well. But I'm pretty sure that at one point when I knocked out the penthouse staff member, he dropped a penthouse key. So I'm gonna wait around in this room after triggering the conversation and we're gonna knock out the penthouse staff and take the penthouse key. Which for your information, by the way, he does not actually have. So I was deluding myself or remembering things that haven't happened. So all of what is about to happen here is superfluous. You do not need to do this. So once the guy is in the room, we're just gonna knock him out uh, drag him and put him in the cupboard here. Now I should mention at this point that there is no chance of a silent assassin rating for this because the Sikh's body will be found. So I'm just looking around for the key and not finding it and realizing that I must have misremembered something. So my next task now will be to take out the patrolling guard on the atrium area and he's currently over by the balcony, which gives us an opportunity to crouch down by this round chair here and throw our crowbar beyond the guard, which will get him away from the balcony and have his back to us. And we can then sneak up behind him, render him unconscious. And we're gonna drag his body right around the corner by the window to the Sikh's bedroom. So all the way around, down the side here, he won't be spotted until alarms are raised. Uh, they are actually eventually spotted him and the guy we're gonna put with him a little bit later on. So once we've got him safely tucked up, don't forget to collect up your crowbar. And we are gonna make our way now all the way back down to the lobby and this is where some of the length of this video comes in because I don't know if it's just my copy of the game or it's actually part of the game but the seek will not come up here until he's spoken to our target Marcus and they will not engage in conversation if we are not present so we're going to make our way right back down to the lobby. We're going to collect up some of the gold bars that we have inadvertently ejected from the machine with the server. So once we've made it and all the way down and collected up, I took three bricks. You only really need one, but I've brought three with a couple of them. redundant spares. We're now going to make our way back to the black and gold bar area. And we're gonna try and get Marcus and the Crown Prince to engage in conversation. So Marcus isn't actually in the area at the moment, so the Crown Prince, as you can see here, is just gonna keep wandering backwards and forwards, greeting people and going to the bar for drinks. So all we're gonna do is just wait around here and once Marcus arrives up on that balcony up there and the two see each other, they will then go and meet. 
and engage in conversation. Now if we're not here, the conversation never starts and the sequel will keep approaching Marcus and then walking away again without starting the conversation and then approaching and walking away. So we have to be here to start this conversation off which is a shame because we could have been upstairs awaiting the Sikh's arrival about five minutes ago. So Marcus and the Sikh are now engaging in their conversation so we are now finally free to make our way back up to the penthouse. There's a lot of running up and down the stairs in this. And unfortunately we still don't have the right key card for the shortcut there. So we're going to go the long way round, back through our original route, all the way back up to the penthouse. And once we're up here, we can now take out our second enforcer guard, that one just to the right you saw. So he's going to patrol up and down this corridor area. So we're going to bust open the Sikh's bedroom door with our crowbar. And when the patrolling guard comes to this sent end of the balcony, he will see that the door and he will go to investigate. And when he does, we're going to start throwing gold bricks all around the Sikh's bedroom to get his attention and draw him in here, where we can then render him unconscious and hide his body with his companion out on the atrium. So the guard is here now. We're just going to start throwing bricks. I threw that first one a little bit early because he's not ready to react to noises yet. So we're just going to throw a second brick. And he's heard that one. So when he comes in to investigate, we're going to throw our third brick on the far side of the bed so that the guard will walk past us and go to investigate. So we want to throw our third brick over by the wall past the bed. Somewhere about there will do. And the guard will now go and investigate that. And when he does, we can use our crowbar to render him unconscious. Come on, mate. You know you wanna go and see the pretty gold shiny bar. There you go. So once we have that guard unconscious, I'm going to go around and collect up all of my stuff and his gun. We don't want to leave any evidence behind in this room really. So we're going to grab his body, we're going to go out through the unbusted door, out onto the atrium and we're going to drag his body around to the right and with his companion underneath the flower beds here. So that's everything now set up and in place and conversations triggered and all the rest of it all that's left for us to do now is wait and it is a considerable wait because we've got to wait for the sheep to go through pretty much his whole routine and he's in no rush so we will be here for some time to the point where you think he might not even be coming but there he is now he has just arrived in this area He's going to go into the office with Carl first of all. And if Carl is in the office at the time the Sikh arrives, uh, they will engage in a conversation which will slow things down somewhat more. And all we're waiting for is the Sikh to come past and go into his bedroom. So he's coming along now. And we're just going to fall in behind the two personal bodyguards that he has. We're just going to wait and see if he reacts to the busted door. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Today he hasn't, so we're going to just follow everybody into the room. We're going to wait right here while everybody else leaves except the Sikh, or the Crown Prince as I like to call him. And once he starts getting into bed, we're just going to snap loads and loads of pictures at him from all different angles as well. I've had the challenge pop for me on my practice account from sort of roughly here but as you can see it hasn't popped for me just yet so I'm moving around I'm going to get a few from the back here as well that fits the description picture a little bit better and eventually 
the challenge will pop. Uh, I think it was just on a bit of a delay. So once the challenge pops, we're going to select our gold brick and we're going to knock out the seek with our gold brick. That will get us the uh, cashing out challenge and need like crawler challenge both together. So all that's left for us to do really is escape, but we haven't actually taken care of our two main targets, have we? So we're going to go back up the stairs while we were thinking of it and we are going to trigger the evacuation. So slip our key card into the slot at the top of the stairs, make our way down the stairs around to our left through the study and use the key card just beyond the study here. So that will trigger the evacuation lockdown. Both of our targets will make their way eventually to the golf clubs out on the balcony, uh, I guess you would call it. As you can see, I'm dropping all of my stuff on the way because them gold bricks are kind of heavy. So we're gonna make our way down the shortcut ladder at the golf clubs and out onto the window cleaning gantry and we're just now going to wait right here with our silence pistol drawn for our two targets to arrive and when they arrive we can then proceed to take them both out and then we can finally move on to our final challenge of the day so there go our targets now flying like birds now flying like a stone there we go so that's our targets taken care of the only thing left for us to do now like I said is to make good our escape but we need the skydiving outfit so we need to make our way once again back down to the lobby so run all the way down I'm taking the shortest possible route that I can Remember that the guards are on high alert on the upper levels and there are enforcers running around. But once we get down to the more public areas, we are free to just run straight down to the lobby area around to our right at the foot of the stairs. And in the cloak area here or the coat area, we will find a skydiving outfit. So all that's left for us to do now is exit the mission in this outfit. And I'm going to take the lobby lift exit and on my way out, as we've lost our silent assassin rating, we're just going to redecorate the lobby slightly. Oh, one of them's run off. Never mind, let's go. So there you go, that is the last of the Dubai challenges taken care of. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.